Yes, when I practice, I have to snatch whatever minutes I have. One of the secrets to good practicing is don't wait until you have a big slot of time to practice. I used to feel like, oh, if I don't have 30 minutes to practice, I can't start practicing. Or if I don't have whatever time you think you need. What I started doing is I have a phone but you could use any timer to make this work. And when I have just a few minutes and I don't know I don't have very much time, I put on my timer and I just say, okay, I have five minutes till my next student comes. Or maybe you have five minutes till you have to leave for school. Put on that timer and just start practicing. <laughs> I got him some time. And then later, when you come back, something's changed. You're walking by the piano. Be like, oh, I don't think I have very much time. I know it's almost time for dinner, but I'm just gonna get in a few minutes. And you practice till you run out of time. These few seconds can add up until you have really good practice time. So one of the secrets to good practice is knowing that seconds matter and that all those seconds will add up. And so even if you just have a few seconds here or a few seconds there, practice. And if you want, keep track of it. And you might find that at the end of the day, those seconds added up into minutes and added up into hours. <laughs>